Hello you guys, it's Erica here. Today I am creating a customized foiled acetate um, for my Aura Style Cloud Planner. The paper size for that planner is 7 by 8.6. So I opened up my, I'm working out of Silhouette Studio for this. Um, you can work out of Microsoft Word, out of Google Docs, anything that you normally use. I just do most of my um, work out of Silhouette Studio. So I opened up my page setup, my page panel here, and I changed my paper size to 7 by 8.6. Now, the acetate that I'm printing on is an 8.5 by 11. Um, however, I uh, change the width and the height to 7 by 8.6 so that I can see the correct placement um, and where I want it. So, I'm going to go here into my fonts and I'm going to use Amarillo as the font that I want, and here it is. It's a nice calligraphy style font, so then I'm going to click on my page and type my name. There we go. So I make it black. I like to make it all black because it's going to print in black and it just makes it easier for you to see. So there it is in black. Now this doesn't really matter because we're not cutting it, but it's something I do anyways and I just weld my letters together. So then I want my size, I want the width to be 4.3, which is uh, half of the length of the sheets, and I want my height to be 2.0. So now that that's changed, I'm going to go ahead and grab that green dot and flip it onto its side so that it's pretty straight and that's a little crooked. There, that's pretty straight. And I want this down here. like so. So now it's ready to send to the printer. So I'm just going to hit my print button here. I'm looking at my layout and it's a duplex printer but I'm only printing one sheet so it's obviously only going to be on one side. But I go to print settings to make sure my print settings are correct and my media type is thicker paper since I'm using thicker acetate and my print quality, I leave it at 600 dpi. I'm gonna hit print and then a little box will pop up to tell me to open up the back panel um, since it's thicker paper so that it can flow easy, which I keep mine open because I'm typically printing thicker things. If I was printing uh, sticker paper to foil uh, my planner stickers, then I don't, cl I close that back panel. But for this, I'm going to leave that back panel open. I'm going to hit OK, and then it's going to take me to the printer. So I went ahead and cut it to the uh, six, 7 by 8.6. Um, if you look closely, it's hard to tell because of the lights. But the Erica is more matte on one side and more glossy on the other. You want to make sure that you're on the more matte side when you lay down your foil. So I'm going to cut a piece of rose gold foil here. I'm going 
to make sure there's nothing on there because then it gets under the foil and it doesn't allow the foil to adhere. This looks like it has a couple of scrapes off of it, but I don't think it's anywhere. So I like to get it down nice where I can see. I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but I can see the outline of the letters on the foil so I know every letter is covered. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my transfer sheet. This is a stained one. I have to take a new one out of the packaging. I just haven't done that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and place this between two pieces of paper, which you don't have to. If you had anywhere where you had laser ink that wasn't covered by the foil, that's when you have to be sure to use something in between, otherwise it will transfer. But because everything is covered, it doesn't really matter. It's just habit that I cover it. In fact, I leave those two pieces of paper in there since obviously you can see that I've had struggles. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through the mink. And here's the mink there. And I'm just running it through. I have it on setting three. And I run it through two times. You definitely don't have to. One time is all you really need. Um, I think it's, I don't know why I do it to be honest with you. Uh, but this is so easy to make, um, and if you have the tools, then it's not really expensive, but starting off, it can be pricey, like if you don't have a laser printer. Um, Mink, Heidi Swap sells this laser toner pen that you can use, obviously if you have really nice handwriting, um, that might work. I don't know how much, like toner is in the pen or anything but that might be something that works um and i believe you can also go to like staples or office max and have them print for you using laser toner but the foil adheres to the toner um which is why that's what it you know that's what it works with so I'm just going to run it through a second time. Um, I foil my own stickers, like I'll buy stickers off of Etsy or sometimes I just create my own um, and then I print and foil them at home. Um, or if I buy, I uh, typically now I'm buying printable kits and some of them are foils or you can buy overlays and stuff. So I um, use my laser printer and my mink uh, machine quite often. I do have a laminator as well and it works just as well with that. Um, and I go back and forth between the Heidi Swap mink heat transfer foil or the, I think it's iDecor. You can find that on like Amazon. Sometimes I find them on Zulily for pretty inexpensive so I buy it there as well. But really, this takes like no time at all. All right, so that should be done there. Now, let's open this up. Let's move this back. I'm just going to take this right off. And here is our laminated sheet. You pull off the foil and there you have it. You have a custom foil acetate for your planner. Um, I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. 
let me grab well, let's see if you put if you put it on top of a piece of vellum that's what it will look like in your planner just laying on top of the vellum I think that is so pretty um, I absolutely love it so this was rose gold I also have a gold one here as you can see if you swap it out here's the gold on top of that vellum and I do have a hollow one somewhere now the other thing I can show you is I like to round off Maybe I need paper. Use that as the background, can you see? I round off the edges. It's so hard to see because it's clear. Um, let's see if I layer them. Can you see it any better? You might be able to see it there where the rose gold is not rounded and the gold is rounded. And this is quite sharp, so I have a large uh, corner rounder or paper rounder, I'm not sure exactly the title. And I think I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. And you just squeeze down and it'll round out your corners right for you. And then you don't have to worry about sharp edges. And there's no signs so it, just slides right in. Make sure it's right even and you push down and there you go you have rounded edges and you have custom foiled acetate i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up a like um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video and until next time Bye.